the Mark Simone Show. On the voice of New York, 710 WOR. This is the Mark Simone Show. On the voice of New York, 710 WOR. Well, Ann Coulter, of course, best-selling author, great columnist. Uh, follow her on Twitter. It's Ann Coulter Twitter. Check out her website, AnnCoulter.com. You know, we always talk about her old books, and uh, they're still so relevant that you should go back and read uh, Mugged and read Demonic. And, uh, well, I got there's another one. Ann Coulter, how are you? Fine, thanks. How are you, Mark Simone? I'm good. So a guy just called up, and he said, your book, How to Talk to a Liberal, has, has Oh, that's him. a good one. Yeah, now a lot of people are having this problem. You end up in a room full of crazy liberal uh, Biden lovers, and uh, you get no. Uh, to, uh, what? Just give us a, like a little hint of what's in that book that you can learn. Um, well, it's everything under under the <laughs> under the sun. It's it's a, col- a heavily a collection of of my columns, um, my greatest hits. Um, that's why I dedicated it to my mother. She loved my columns. Um, but it also includes one, one of my favorite sections of it. Um, because this happens to conservatives. It's something that never, ever happens to liberals. Um, um, when I was, when I was starting out my career and, um, bam, had a bunch of best-selling books, um, and was doing a lot of media magazines. I don't know if you remember those for the young kids in the audience. <laughs> they used to be huge. <laughs> um, so all these magazines would come to me, technically to my, to my agent to the stars, Joni Evans, and say, we want her to write, um, an article for our magazine. And often they'd try to get it to be something that, that wasn't political or maybe not, not, not political in a major way, like, you know, another denunciation of, of Bill Clinton, say. Um, so I'd write, I'd write a zippy little column for them, something that was, would be all new for their readers, <laughs> since the range of, of acceptable opinion, um, in, in establishment opinion um, goes, you know, all the way from A to B, um, and they kept killing them. <laughs> so I was basically making money the first few years by collecting kill fees. <laughs> um, but I have these great columns sitting around, um, so I put them in the book. So you can see what was unfit for you to read in America. Well. Uh, it's a great book, but uh, for a lot of find social this- stuff, you get into Christianity and foreign policy, and um, a lot of the social issues. So it's really it's pretty much everything under the sun. But but my favorite is the is the columns that that, you're, that, are, that were censored in America that that the our, right. our betters thought you were unfit to read. So when you find yourself in a room full of crazed liberals. Uh, like you really shouldn't argue with them, right? I mean, there's, you're not going to win the argument. You're not going to change their mind. What's the point? Oh yeah, chapter one begins with a whole list of rules on on arguing with liberals. And yes, I'd say one of them is is not to engage, to approach them slowly. Maybe have some granola <laughs> handy in case they get vicious. <laughs> A squirt gun. It's always good to have a water squirt, squirt gun. Certain of their common replies and um, how to respond to them. Um, oh yeah, I love that book. Yeah. Well, it's, everybody go get the book. Uh, how to talk to a liberal. It's one of Ann Coulter's great books. If you must. If you must. Yeah. Uh, have you noticed a turning point? Let, let, let's say you want to pull out of Afghanistan, and I can understand that. But there's a way to do it. Obviously, you get all the civilians out first. The military goes last, and you don't leave the weapons; you destroy them. But don't you find, like even CNN, MSNBC, they got to admit that this this was the most bungled up, stupid way to do it, and even they're turning a little on Biden. Oh, I'd say it's a little more than turning a little turning <laughs> on Biden. No, I am completely on the other side of this issue from you, and I was Uh-oh. just thinking it's. It's funny you say that because that was one of the points I was going to make to you. Um, no, they've been absolutely slashing and burning. They've been more vicious in attacking the end of, of this war. Um, it really it is the exact parallel of, of what happened uh, to Cuomo. Um, there, there were a million reasons to get rid of Cuomo. Um, I would say um, in addition to the 
to the killing the old people, <laughs> which ranks near the top, um, him signing the bill ending bail and and turning well, the state of New York and certainly the city of New York into this this criminal dystopia. It's like escape from New York. Um, I mean, it's I, I I tweet these things out. I think you do. It's what's been especially stunning to me is not only that the viciousness of the attacks, attacks with hatchets and hammers. Um, and um, there was this one yesterday, two guys just talking, you know, they had ordered a pizza or something. Another guy comes walking by and then turns around like he forgot something and starts stabbing one of the guys in the stomach. I mean, just the stunning open brazenness, violence. But, but the other two things are um, where they're taking place. Um, not that not that people in scary, bad, highly criminal neighborhoods um, deserve to be m- mugged any more than anyone else, but man, this is moving into places where I might have been. This is obviously it's going to cut down on what people people like you and me um, can do in New York. Where can we go? That hammer attack was on um, the Union Station subway stop at 9 p.m. on a Saturday night. <laughs> wow, you, had to... you can't go that there. A year ago, there was that open brazen rape of a woman on, um, I think it was the 77th subway stop on the Lexington line. That's Upper East Side at like 3 p.m. on a Sunday. And then you read, usually in the New York Post, the um, New York Times doesn't lead with it, um, and you find out that all these people have been arrested over and over and over again. But why weren't they in jail? Because they can't be held in jail because of this stupid law signed signed by Cuomo. He ought to be run out of town and have his MA taken away, and as you suggested on Twitter today, his name taken off the bridge for all of that. I kind of think it's the same thing with Biden and this and this release. Finally, the liberal media, no, no, they want permanent war. Finally, they're indignant with him. And is it over our border being overrun? Is it over him bringing in hundreds of thousands of Afghans? Um, and by the way, every terrorist attack in this country and, and elsewhere since 9-11 has been from, quote, homegrown terrorists. They're always immigrants, children of immigrants and refugees from third world held holes like Afghanistan. Pulse nightclub was mm. there, there's there's your, your your Afghan immigrant. Um there's something to attack him for. What's going on at the border is something to attack Biden for. Um, <laughs> um there's so many things to attack Biden for. No, this is what they're attacking him for. And how about these two idiot congressmen in the middle of what the media is claiming is, you know, worse than Saigon and you know, it's to hear square all over again. And they're just flying in for a fact-finding Michigan. No, no, no. They also want to do pictures for Instagram, too. Let's give them credit for that. <laughs> yeah, and they want to be invited on, you know, the holy grail of America, TV. <laughs> this will get them on TV. Um, no, I think it's not a disaster. Look, what is the difference? So, so let's say we pulled out um, but left – um, left a, enough of our military behind so that the Taliban didn't take over for, let's say, two months, let's say two years. They're still, they're still coming back. And it wasn't – I, I mean, look, I w- there was no more enthusiastic supporter of the Afghanistan war, and I remain so, um, and the Iraq war. Um, but nobody told me it was going to go on pointlessly for 20 years. What I'm angry about is the last 10 years we've been spending in Afghanistan. It's turned into this, this feminist war where we're fighting for the rights of gender studies programs. That's why the media is so upset about this. And I, 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 I mean, my, my mother's probably rolling in her because her position was Democrat attack, um, but, but but and I understand the instinct, just as I do with to jump on the Andrew Cuomo thing for what seems like kind of BSE sexual harassment cases, only three of which seemed very bad, but who knows if they were true? Um, well, three's fine. a lot. <laughs> three. Pardon? Three's a lot. That's a big number. Well, if true, though, I mean, the, the way the report went, look, I, I do not put me in the position of defending Andrew Cuomo when I can't walk around New York City anymore. Um, but my, my my point is, okay, if that's if that's what it takes, 
And so I understand, I guess, right wingers saying, oh, you're an idiot, you're a babbling fool. No, he, he's done much, much worse things. I am so happy we are finally ending this war. And perhaps, you know, this is one good thing we're getting out of Joe Biden's senility that the media and the generals are unable to bully him into us staying in Afghanistan yeah. forever. I hate to say it, but we're out of time. But hey, everybody get the book. It's a great book by Ann Coulter, How to Talk to a Liberal If You Must. You'll, you'll, it may solve some of your problems. And any of Ann Coulter's books, go to AnnCoulter.com and get a column and follow her on Twitter, Ann Coulter on Twitter. Ann Coulter, thanks for being with us. Hey, that was so great how I used right. up the entire time to make my argument. That's good. <laughs> thanks for being with us. Take care. Uh, oh, and everybody check out the webpage. Hey, you want to see how bad Andrew Cuomo was? Watch this video from November where he's bad mouthing the vaccine. He's attacking the vaccine, saying he may not let it in New York. You forget how dumb this guy was. Watch this video. Uh, also, how did Joe Biden get the nickname the dumbest man in Washington? Watch this video. It's all up on the webpage. Go to 710WOR.com slash mark. 710WOR.com slash mark.